Welcome everybody, we are getting ready for our round one FFA 2023 World Championship Season 2 Tournament game. Uh, we've got an awesome group of players, we're going to walk through them here, then we'll go over the settings. We're just a few minutes away uh, from our game time. So first up, as our opponents, we've got Newton of Iron, clicked on the wrong screen, Newton of Iron 24, Flying the Flag of Canada, a Grandmaster uh, with... 3420 games played. Uh, that is a ton of risk. 1360 hours played. This win loss record is almost exactly 500. A fantastic record. Uh, also plays some one on one. Similar record. Um, so big time, big time player. Uh, you can see all the numbers there. Fastest win 28 seconds. Uh, and such. So. Really, really good player there that we've got. Newton of Iron playing as blue. Paranoid Gaming flying the flag of the United Kingdom playing as Magenta. Listed as a master here. Looks like uh, basically a grandmaster. Games played 830. Hours played 383. 1263. Loss 487. Um, and you can see the other stats here. So really good player. Also, Dog Sergeant in the Risk World Cup. Listed here as a beginner. We know he's played more than that. Uh, but games played 393. Hours played 103. You can see the win-loss record 43-282. And the rest of the stats down here. He's playing as black. Then playing as yellow, we've got Q Gatoro. Uh, previously eliminated from the Risk World Cup. Intermediate 85-35. Uh, playing as yellow, 421 games played, 214 hours played, 164, lost 285. Um, and you can see some of the other stats down here for Q Gatoro. Uh, we have, I think, a late edition that we're swapping out, um, but it's already been decided, so we're just waiting for the actual game time to hit. You can see down here the settings that we're playing, general processing unit, auto setup, fixed card bonus, 60 second turn timer, fog is off, Blizzards are on, portals are off. I'm gonna check that real quick with the uh, sheet before we get started and everyone yells at me. Yeah, so blizzards on, fog off, portals off. Yeah, they're just different order there. Okay. And we're playing with alliances on. So that'll be interesting to see if. Hey, thanks, Marin. Thanks for the good luck. Uh, we're playing with alliances on. We'll see if that has any effect. Um, balance Blitz Dice. Expert AI. Um, automated inactivity behavior and such. So for those that haven't played General Processing Unit, um, it's built like a computer board, so the lines are a little different. You can kind of see them in this background. Uh, green is the background, so the connection lines are those blue lines that you're seeing in that background. So when we look at the map, we'll see that. Um, in our practice games, we saw people take bonuses. Um, and that being kind of a critical portion of the board, I'll make sure to show you guys the bonuses once we jump in, um, show you what's, what's available. Obviously, anytime you're playing fixed, bonuses are a big part of the game. Uh, so we will, we will show that. The way the uh, tournament format works for the free-for-all world championship is you score points um, each round. And after this first round, everybody is still in. But let me... The... Uh, Bounty points are 3-3-2-1-1. Three, three, one, one. So three for your first bounty, three for your second bounty, two for your third bounty, one for your fourth bounty, and one for your fifth, si yeah, fifth bounty. Um, placement points are two for sixth, four for fifth, six for fourth, eight for third, 10 for second, 12 for first place. So um, after the second round, um, it will be the top 288 approximately that get through. But for this round, everybody that participates gets through. So it'll be your combined points from round one and round two. That'll decide if you make it to round three. So that is the plan. We do have a Caps game set up for round two. So you can tell how excited I already am. We're starting with a fixed. And then we're going to Caps progressive. So... Uh, we'll see how it goes. Got to got to perform well. Got to score points. Uh, you need bounties in this tournament, um, but placement points do matter. So if you've got a chance to uh, to hide a little bit and move your placement up, then uh, then you take it when you're playing for placement points. Got to get our mindset slightly different than we did uh, for the World Cup. Okay, so we've got uh, Hitchhiker. 
Man, we are good to go. Uh, we had someone leave just now. It was a dog, Sergeant. Uh, real quick, Hitchhiker flying the flag of Norway, listed as a beginner. Uh, 54 games played, 34 hours played, 1-8, lost 40. Uh, so a newer player, potentially. Uh, and then you can kind of see the stats here in terms of troops. Fastest and slowest win. Just waiting on the go-ahead, and we will fire off. Big thanks to Tombstone for hosting our uh, lobby here. We've got to wait five minutes for Xena Thacker uh, just to give a chance to show. So we're waiting the five minutes. So we've got a few more minutes and then Hitchhiker will join if Xena Thacker doesn't show uh, for this one. And if not, then Hitchhiker uh, will take that sixth spot. So the uh, groups are set up randomly for this tournament. We just get put in groups based off our availability. Uh, total groups in this first round are a lot. Let me tell you how many we got here. Round one's got 86 groups. So that's about the equivalent of 500 players. 6 times 86. We've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 players. That's 516 if everyone showed up in that. Um, so it's a big tournament. Um, and to get to that third round, you basically have to be in the top uh, half of it with the top 288, making it into round 3. So uh, your first two games, you need to finish um, top 3 places and hopefully have a bounty is probably what you need to be uh, to be able to get through. The problem is if you just squeak through that first cut, uh, you're gonna be in big trouble trying to make any additional cuts. So you wanna make uh, make it through the cut with flying colors so that you have a chance to keep moving on. Total score, uh, we have had some perfect games. So a perfect game is getting the 12 points uh, for the win. Three points for both your first two bounties, which is another six, so that puts you at 18. Oh no, I guess we haven't had a perfect game. The highest scores are 21 currently sitting in here. Uh, JJ Bra has a 21, Jolie Irwin has a 21, Mailman a 21, Pentix a 21, Polderan a 21, Sully a 21, and The Tobes a 21. So there are, uh, ugh, what's that, seven players that have scored 21. Uh, which in the old system would have been a perfect game, but based off of these bounty counts, that's not that's not a perfect game. Because uh, you can get 10 bounty points in 12. So 22 is a perfect game. They've gotten almost perfect games. They've been one point off perfect games. Seven of them. So uh, that's not our expectation to end up anywhere in the perfect game territory. Um, what we'd like to do is just have a real nice performance. Just about one minute away from our time limit expiring so we can, uh, we can fire off here. Try to also do our uh, screenshots and bounties. I won't be paying attention to the uh, chat during the game. Sorry, guys. Just got to focus on playing. So we will uh, focus on trying to win um, for now. Good to go. Uh, again, shout out to Tombstone helping out running the match. We will uh, screenshot our settings, let everyone know. We're going. Cool. I think we pretty much got everybody, so let's do it. Okay, here we go, round one. FFA, World Championships of Risk. 
season two for 2023. Let's check out this spawn. So need to grab a screenshot for Tombstone. Okay, we're late in turn order, so we're gonna grab a screenshot real quick of the settings for, uh, or of the battle log for Tombstone here. Then we will jump into the spawn. Log. Okay. We're getting some uh, alliance requests. Sure, we'll do. We'll alliance with everybody. We're not going to upset anybody with it. There's no fog, so. Green just get hit there. Okay, we're here. Oh no, green's hitting people. Had a bad roll. These pink threes are annoying. That'd be a nice bonus to take. The plus four there. What bonus can we can grab this plus four in the middle? I think we have the right to it. I can also move this up and even concede that to pink. If pink won't hit me here, uh, we can do that. I'm gonna upload that log. Okay, so we're in fifth turn position. Uh, we're playing fixed, so you got to get your bonuses right. The good news is uh, blue didn't add. Ma what Magenta does on this turn is going to affect dramatically how this sets up. I'm worried he's going to roll this three into this box. Or roll my five, which again be wild. If he gives me one turn, I can get out of his way. And I think he'll be realistic about that. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, so he takes the bottom bonus. I think we can be buds here. I'm gonna go this. It'll work out. Yep, he's giving me the heart. We're good. I know what he wants, and I don't mind him sitting next to blue right there like that. We'll fortify out for him. Could have taken the second bonus on turn one. But this gives potential option for these guys to work out their differences because they got four different colors sitting in this bonus. Uh, this plus four. And none of them are one, so we'll see how that works out. So we get the bonus. We've got the line on the small plus two up here at the top. That'll potentially lead to this left side getting blocked up. I don't think anyone here's your uh, bonuses for the map so plus four for display port over on the left parallel links the plus two uh, you've got three plus fours on the left display port v core most vets and v core in this uh, i don't know what it says inductors v core inductors uh, and then v core capacitators is a three capacitors and then plus two for interface the middle is the plus four ultra and then this plus five is these little boxes through here that make kind of a elbow. VMEM, VRM is a plus three. Power delivery is a plus two. The, the blizzards aren't blocking off too much. Uh, they're blocking off the central path, which could be interesting. And then a plus four down here on the right, which is tough to hold. Okay, green makes the first move in here. Let's see how everyone else reacts, because uh, black's got a four stack in there. I don't think he's going to be cool with someone holding that. I think Magenta and I can be cool here. I've got to start working on an external, which could potentially be this path, but I don't really want to be the two paths through the board. But I think I am just by default here. Now, if Dog Sergeant gets crazy and rolls this four on four, this could potentially open for me. He doesn't, he wants the big bonus on the other side. So I think I move this out and I fortify here my stack. I can move this out of this. But no, he's going to take the top bonus. Can't tell if he's officially going for that other one. So the problem with what I gave pink there, he's at a plus six, but I'm also at a plus six. 
Blue's at a plus four. He's going to start hunting another bonus. He's also got a 12 stack just kind of stuck here now. So what he does with it will be interesting. We waited our turn and were patient about it. Blue gives the sad face. He's got a position over here, and I'm kind of forcing him to make to use that. He could come through with his 12. That's why I left a 5, because I wanted it to be more enticing to hit the pink 1 if he really wants to get that 12 stack out of there. Pink and I have a chance to uh, take an advantage by... We got the early bonuses... The early two bonuses. Yellow's just got a plus two. Blue's got a plus four. We both have a plus six. Green's at a plus three, but could potentially roll these two big stacks in here. But I think they're trapped now. It's going to take a while for this to get taken by anybody. I don't think he rolls a six on four. I think he's just going to continue to build there. Be interesting to see if Dog decides to keep that external position. Yellow also going to challenge for this bonus over here. I just need an external stack somewhere that I can work from. But these two bonuses both point to the right, so I've got some access. Blue keeps adding there. It feels like he's going to hit somebody. And I'm the one that can do the least about it, except his 17 is not touching my 5. So does he off attack and fortify up? Yeah, I think he's going to off attack and then fortify this 19 up to me. No, he leaves it okay. He's going to hit Magenta. He's making an early bonus run at Magenta, bounty run at Magenta. But Magenta's getting nine troops. He can defend himself against that. I'm in a good uh, troop gaining situation. I'm also in the center, so I really just want to kind of stay friends with everybody for now. Um, so I need this two to be a two-way go, because my other one's not going to be a two-way go, clearly. I'm going to go here. Could fortify that in, but I'd rather just leave it there in case I need to get a 1 next turn. I think blue should be putting his troops over here. Dog's potentially going to roll that 4, and then I'm in big trouble. And more trouble for Magenta, because this 19 does not connect to my 10, and it's on the other side of this 17. So the fact that he left it there is a big positive for me. Also, it took out the blizzards took out some weird corner pieces here uh, in this bonus to make this a much more normal bonus here. Um, the blizzards are all on the edges except for this one in the middle that I'm getting to utilize. So I got a really good spawn for that purpose. I was very fortunate in my spawn. Okay, does Green decide to start rolling for that bonus? He's gotten one bonus all game. Dog has not gotten a bonus all game. He's the only one that hasn't gotten a bonus all game. Green continues to stay on both sides. Does Yellow get tired of Green sitting in that bonus and hit him? Blue's getting seven. I feel like he's about to hit Magenta real hard. No, he just off attacks again. Okay. But he doesn't fortify up, so I'm still cool with that. He's still lined up. Does dog hit him? Yeah, he takes out Blue's external, which almost forces him to go through Magenta here. 
Ah, dog blocked that one that I could have taken. Maybe someone will hit this. Yeah, except you just blocked my line I wanted, but sure. Magenta's getting nervous with that 26 stack. No doubt about it. Blue's considering a run at a bounty there. If he's got a 10 trade in cards, he could run that. It would still be tight. He's getting 7 plus 10. Yeah, thanks for the card. Blue's getting 7 plus a trade. So he could have plenty to go take out the 38 of pink and get the four cards and trade in turn. I think that's the move that's about to happen. Okay, green gets tired of dog being in that bonus. Dog's in some trouble now. He's at 19 troops. Game will hinge right here. I think blue's going to take out magenta or hit him really. He doesn't trade in cards. Okay, so he's just going to break. He card skips? No, he breaks. Don't move it all the way up. Good, 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 good. He blocks himself, though, from being able to run through Magenta there, assuming Magenta's going to take back his bonus. If I had a bigger trade, I would consider that dog bounty there. Four trade for Magenta, he's feeling uh, some pressure. Hmm. I think that gives me the most options next turn. My 16 points down and left, and my 12 points right. I've got a 5 here to potentially help with some cleanup. Uh, but everyone's going to have cards before next turn. Except for Magenta. He's going to be stuck at 48. He turned in cards because he thought blue was going to kill him. And still may. But he's got more troops than blue. Blue's just earlier in trade. Except Magenta traded early, so... Yellow's going to take that bonus and basically feed green to blue. No, he doesn't. Does he hit the seven? If he hits the seven, blue wins. Yeah. Shoot. Gosh dang it. That's a pure feed to blue. Green's going to have cards, though. Can he make himself hard to kill for blue? He gets a four trade. Brutal for green. Tough game for Hitchhiker. You get the four trade there. Ugh, there's just no, there's no good play. It's a lot of troops for blue to have to hit.
Ah, uh, he card skips. Sees it as his only chance of staying alive. He doesn't want to break anybody. I think blue kills green. Now it's only two cards, though, so it's a little better scenario. For me, not for him. He just breaks. He just breaks green. He wants to farm him for a card, but green's card skipped. Dog gets 10. Mm-hmm. Dog gets 10. Does Magenta go for it? He can double tap that 31 stack. He's going for it. Does he get a bad roll? He doesn't roll it. Leaves it at 35. I'm only at 34 with this, so I don't think I can quite do it. It's too risky. I get eaten immediately. And only get two cards. It's, it, that's not a smart move. That wasn't what I meant to do. I meant to fortify that back. That was dumb. Okay, yellow's got his second bonus. He's getting plus six now. He's equal to pink and I, yeah. Blue's gonna take this bonus. Pink's kinda said, hey, I'll move over to this bonus. You can have that one. I think pink also kills green on this turn. Green card skips again. Problem is now the uh, card skip gets you you're still at two cards, and they're at three, so they get the trade in turn. And my 25's in a stupid spot, because I meant to put it back on the... Tw oh, I wasn't. That's what I did wrong. I was attacking here to move back, and I clicked. I went the other way. Ugh, that was dumb. Okay, so green gets a card, which is going to make him even more lucrative. We'll see if blue or pink... Which one, blue or pink, gets the kill. Blue slow plays it. Dog gets another 10 trade. He has gotten some solid cards uh, that have kept him from being killed. It makes my move even more painful of putting my 25 there. Shoot. I mean, we're still in the troop lead. The problem is we're just not in a position uh, to be high enough in troops to get a kill that we want to get here. Oh, he goes for the break on yellow. Okay. Does that start some animosity between black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow over there? Green or magenta is not going for the kill on green. I should have lined up for it. Blue is also not blocked off from me anymore. Could make that run through at any time. We're gonna get in position to actually get some work done now. We've messed it up for too long. All right, I got a two-way go with that 36. I got a 16 to help. I've got a five over here to help. Does yellow hit dog hard here? He could potentially take both bonuses from him. Although he'd have a 48 stack keyed open. He doesn't even take his bonus back. 
How about that? He doesn't even take his bonus back. Okay. Interesting. Ah! Green goes for the center bonus. Okay, that's interesting. He likes that bonus. Interesting play, interesting play. What does Magenta do in reaction to that? Ah! Uh, okay. Okay, he takes green out of that position. What does Magenta do to green? I'm only getting the three. Not having cards on four right here really, really sucks. I can't believe Dog just got to do that. Okay, you gonna hit him, Magenta? He breaks blue. And he leaves a three stack in my way where I'm going to be super tight on troops. Gosh dang it. Cards right here would be really nice. Okay, we're going to do this. If he wants that bonus, I want this bonus. I didn't have the troops to get the kill on green. So I'm gonna do the next best thing, which is still his bonus. And I'm at 69 troops, so. Q Gator not reacting at all to Dog Sergeant hitting him. Very interesting. Let's him just break the bonus and doesn't do anything about it. Let's see what Green does. Put the ball in his court here. He's on four cards. If he's got cards, he's trading them in, guaranteed. Yeah, he goes out the other side. Wants to leave that three stack there to make it as tough as possible for me to kill him. Blue's big stack is locked in. He takes back his bonus. Where does he move to? Yeah, he moves to there. Really don't want to hit 41 troops, to be honest. I don't think it's the best play for my game. I think it just immediately feeds me. And I kind of like the bonus that I'm in now. Only getting a 6 trade, so I get 14. Green stuck here. Gotta hit everybody else now instead of me. So that's okay. Take out a yellow external for fun. Leave that up next to blue. Blue now the top gainer. He's got a plus eight going. I'm down to plus five. I went from a plus six to a plus five. Magenta's a plus six. Yellow is a plus four, black is a plus three. He's the weakest gainer. Yellow retaliates. Takes back his bonus, surely. Does not, does not take it back, just wants the easy take. My five is in a precarious position here, stuck between a 58 and a 22. What does green want here? 
He just wants to keep that bonus in the middle. He's going to get his four each turn. Blue card skips. Dog takes it back and moves to his one position. Here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. When you play fixed, um, we've we've passed the point where the incentive makes sense, right? So if I go hit a 58 stack, that's the problem. Is hitting green for 58, I get a potential of 10 car 10 troops out of it. So it's a minus 48 play. So we'll jockey around a little bit for bonuses here, but there's only so much more that can happen in this. There'll be some card blocking occur for sure. And if Black really wants to card block me, he's making a poor decision because I'm connected to his bonus. So we'll give him the chance. Surely he'll figure that out. That we need to trade there. And not where my five is. Yellow can trade with magenta here. Does someone block green? Like green's the easiest to card block for sure. The problem is he's got a 56 stack. So you're really risking a stack there if you want to block him. Yellow could move down. Yellow and, and dog are going to trade cards up here, which is hurting me because I'm not getting any cards. So I'll just break dog if he's not going to give me any cards. I'm sure he can see. That's the problem. All right, green's up to 73. He's completely gotten back into the game. He was not uh, hit by anybody. I couldn't get to him at the right time. I don't know why blue didn't kill him. Uh, when he had him lined up. And Blue also didn't kill Magenta when he had him lined up. This is not a World Cup, Cubbies. This is free-for-all. That's why we're in a semi-stalemate situation. Dog figures it out and knows we need to trade there. Cool. Thank you, Dog. That was a late fist bump, but maybe Pink thinks I'm fist bumping him, which is cool, too. Oh boy, got a bunch of dudes. Okay, so now we're getting outgained by blue is the problem. Blue made a smart move, swapped bonuses. Green kind of hosed me by taking that center bonus. And they're just the timing was didn't work out for me to go get the kill. So I just lost my one troop a turn. Now dog is getting well outgained. He's gonna be in trouble here soon. Also, someone's gonna get impatient, surely. And it might be me, because I can't stand this kind of situation. We're early in it, but still. Blue keeps card skipping. Look, he's getting uh eight a turn. So he's card skipping saying, hey, my Ada turn's fine. I'm not going to upset the apple card over here. Um, you guys come and get my 112 troops if you want them. Now the, I'm getting five a turn. He's getting eight. So he's getting three a turn more than me. So it'll take a while for the cards to matter to get me up to his number. Magenta's getting six. Magenta card trading with green, which is interesting. Ugh. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my disdain for this is matched only by my disdain for this. Throw in uh, a four trade and even better. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Settle in, folks. There's just such a small window when you're playing these settings with good players. Uh, there's just such a small window for someone to make the move. And then once you pass that window, it just doesn't make sense for anyone to make that move anymore. Dog has built a 10 stack next to a yellow 15 stack. Yellow, magenta, and green are all trading in the same spot. Mm-hmm. So yellow, green, and magenta are trading in this spot, which I can give you the name of because we have time. Maybe I can. We got the card skip from blue again, which is the only interesting thing really happening. Dedicated P buffer uh, is their trading spot. Dog and I are trading up here in WT Fram. And blue is card skipping. So that's currently what's happening, and that could happen till the end of time. Dog's going to get weaker, right? He's only got the, uh, oh, I've got a 3 trade. I finally got the 10 trade. Do I take it early? Might as well, right? Sure. What does it hurt at this point? One. There's there. there cool 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 yeah fixed is boring cubbies uh fixed with really good players is really boring because there's just this like tiny window that someone can run the game early um and if you get past that early game window of making the run at the right time uh you end up in this where you get 10 cards for killing 120 troops um, and no, or 10 troops for killing 120 troops. And no one's going to make that trade. So the best move you can make every turn from here on out um, is to do nothing. Or to do a card block, which a card block would be an option. Uh, for instance, if Dog was able to get a 68 down here, I could move my 65 into this position. And we could card block green to some degree. Um, basically forcing green not to take cards could potentially end this game. But no one's making, in fact, this yellow 28 is blocking a card block is preventing any card block from going on there. So, no progress happening in this. The only interesting thing happening right now is uh, blue is getting, is, is card skipping. Yeah, so if you can get everybody to agree to roll like 20 troops into somebody, that's great. We're not in VC, so it's hard to coordinate that, and you just kind of look like a jerk if you go roll 20 into somebody. Everyone will hate you. Okay, dog moves out. That's interesting. He says I'm sorry because he card blocked me, but that's fine. I'll just break you. You card block me all you want. Not smart to card block the person that has to break you to get a card. What I mean, what are you going to do? He had all the options in the world not to put his 20 stack there next to my one, and he decided not to, so that's how you get broken. Uh, we're currently sitting in second in troops. I think that's pretty accurate for what it really is. Does yellow leave a stack in there? No, no. He moves the bigger stack out, though. I mean, the good news is we're only at 40 minutes into this game or so. 35 minutes in, so. Something, something could definitely shake loose here. Ah, dog figures it out. It's an even hundred there. The interesting part is this five stack still alive. 
It's getting less and less valuable every turn, but it's interesting nonetheless. Yellow gets a 10 trade on 5. Hmm. Problem is, if, if you try to advance the game, like, say I want to hit this 59 stack of pink and take this bonus to advance the game, blue immediately kills pink, kills me, and probably runs the table from that, but, so. Some people love this stuff, so, more, on, more to them, that's great. Dog's welcome to hit my 5 as long as he's going to hit that 49 right after. But it's kill guarded right now, so I kind of like that. I think no one would possibly go for my kill right now because I mean dog is basically the only person that has access to run for my kill and he's got to take out 145 troops with 111 which is unlikely I love that Blue just decided, hey, the card skip's the way to go. You can tell he's a good player because he's figured out, hey, I'd rather have my 8 every turn. I'm out gaining everybody by at least 2. Now Yellow's gaining a little more. Yeah, but he's still out gaining everybody by at least 2. Can I signal to Magenta that I would like to swap back bonuses for a couple turns? Do you think he would go for it? What I would like to do is signal to Magenta, hey, you've been getting the extra troop for a while now. I'd like to get in here. Uh, but you can see Blue's got the troop advantage on us, even with the uh, not trading cards in. Really smart player that he picked up on that early that the breaking wasn't the way to go. Green could do something wild, like leave that stack there. That'd be fun. I mean, blue hasn't done anything in 20 minutes now. 
Just sitting on a 170 stack. What's up, Buck? We're just sitting in an epic fixed take a card and pass. Extravaganza. Uh, I hate this. Is there anything interesting to do here? I think move that three, he'd be less hurt that I took that. Sub DBJ. I wasn't supposed to be talking in chat during this because I was going to be so focused, but now it's going to turn into like a social hour, I think. Hopefully just an hour. Do I start adding to my five, you guys think? I could add to this five. I don't know if that does anything. It's a nice little kill guard I got for me right now. I'm the only person on the board really kill guarded. Yellow's got the best card blocking potential. He could leave one of those 70 stacks sitting here and risk it getting rolled. Uh, but he could leave it sitting here. Or he could put the 70 stack and even float in the other 70 stack and have a 140 there. And that would inspire some action. Mitch, I thought players weren't supposed to interact with their chat during the tournament game. We're allowed to know. No, you're not supposed to interact. Sorry, Stark, I'm not interacting. I'm not interacting for strategy purposes. I was just interacting purely for uh, passing the time. Oh, okay. We've got Magenta moving into one stack. That's to kill green. I think that's to kill green. I think he's done with this. I don't know if he's wanting me to do something else because he keeps shooting me hearts that I just don't know. He's signaling for a bonus swab? That would be super nice of him. I think he's going for the green kill. Or the card block? I don't know. What is Magenta doing? I think it's the kill on green. He can't card block green. He wouldn't do that with that one stack because green would go out the other side. Does green feel pressure by what he's doing? I think we're about to find out. Let's see what he does. He had the tin trade, so clearly that was premeditated. No, he doesn't do it. Hmm. So why? Is he wanting to swap bonuses with me? No way he's being that nice.
I'm swapping bonuses with you, bud. You can have that now. You got the big bonus for a long time. Oh, he didn't take it well. I moved out of this bonus, clearly giving it to him. And I didn't point my stack at him to be nice. We'll see. Ah, Blue not cool with me having that bonus. I see. Oh, it's just because I had the two bonus. That's fair. If he wants to break me for this turn, that's fair. Magenta should get the uh, idea of taking back his. Surely he gets it. Okay, that, that's not the point. You already broke me, bud. You're supposed to take that bonus. And he leaves a five stack. Okay, I don't think he's getting it. He's trying to give you a bonus, bud. You can't leave a five in here. I'm giving you a bonus. Just take your stinking bonus. Why will he not take that bonus? He's just not getting the signaling. I'm not sure what to do. I'm obviously not like hitting him. Ah, yellow moves back in. He locks his stack, which opens pink to kill me. He's wanting pink to kill me. To kill me, pink's got to go 189 on 184, though. If he'll just take that, he's going to break me again. I know he is. But if he'll just take that bonus, we could be buds. <laughs> you got the big bonus for a long time. We're buds. Stop thumbs downing me. Yeah, blue lines up thinking that he's going to get to clean up my kill after Magenta hits me here. Yes, good. Take your bonus. Great. Oh my gosh, take the bone. Oh my gosh. This is wild. He's literally going to ruin both of our games. Okay. I'll take this bonus. You can have it back. If you're going to ruin both of our games over it, then I don't want it. We just lost so many troops by you not doing that better. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was wild. Bro, you've been getting the plus six way longer. I'm at the plus five. That was an easy swap to do for a few turns. That's the only thing interesting that could happen in this game, so I had to do something. And we just weakened ourselves to make blue much, much stronger compared to us. I can't believe Magenta just gave up, I don't know, 20, 30 troops maybe in three turns instead of swapping. Just refused to take the bonus.
So you want to play fixed world dom in a tournament. Oh, was he hitting the five? He's hitting the five? Bro. Okay, that's fine as long as you're going through yellow. You will not be getting your card over here anymore, bud. We're going to do a little shifting of our position potentially here. We're going to take this position. We're going to force Dog Sergeant to go the other direction. If he wants to take away our kill guard that we had literally all game, he can go hit somebody else. We're going to leave a nice big stack there for him. Does Dog Sergeant dare move that stack down and leave it? I don't think he does. He's acting like he's going to have the guts to do it. Gosh, Blue's so far ahead of us now. Because of that stupid little spat with pink. <laughs> he moves back down. He gives up hope that Pink was going to feed me. Nah, he doesn't leave the stack. That would have been cool, though. Dog Sergeant continues to get weaker um, in addition to green, comparatively. Is dog going to card trade with me here? We shall see. I think it'd be in his best interest. <laughs> Could be getting some really good World Cup scheduling done right now. All right, Dog Sergeant gets the 10 trade. Rolls the 103. No, he rolls the 1. And card blocks me. He decides he should card block me there. Why? I don't know. That's a bad decision. I have to break him now. I mean, he must see the problem here, right? It's not my responsibility to teach him... That if you card block someone that's pointed to breaking you, they're going to break you. If you would like me to not break you, then don't card block me.
Fortifies the 109 on the 108. No. That'd been cool. Dog Sergeant should realize his problem is everyone's getting bigger around him. That yellow bonus in the corner, he could have had at some point in this game. This map is just too set up for a stalemate. You've got all the bonuses and you've got this nice card trading area in the middle that makes it really hard to move the game forward. But I gotta break you again, you're literally card blocking me. Do you not get that? Does he want me to roll the 181 for a card? Like, I have to get my card. I'm not going to give you your bonus to not give me a card. I don't know why I traded in there. That was really dumb. I just lost a couple troops. If that's where you don't want me to get my card, I'll get my card there. That's fine. I guess I just lost two there. I did an eight trade. That was stupid. I was mad because Dog Sergeant is making me trade through his bonus. Blue's way ahead of us now. Every turn he's out gaining by three. We're in round 27. And my kill guard's gone. Everyone should know Blue's the problem. He figured out very early it was going into a stalemate. Got in the right position. Bro, just move out of the way. And I'll take my card next to you. Why not move it down? Is he scared of moving it down and being next to the 113? Is that the problem? Okay. I don't understand. Obviously not card... I'm not block breaking you because I want to. I'm breaking you because I have to get my card. Is he thinking he's going around the backside for yellow's bonus? Is that the move that Dog Sergeant just made? I'm now also significantly behind yellow in cards. Because that stupid pink situation.
What's the oops I'm sorry for there? What are we doing? Is there a time limit in this tournament? Does anyone know if there's a time limit in this tournament? I don't know if you guys can tell, but this kind of risk makes me want to scream. And I know people love it. Some people out there love this stuff. But I hate it. So the key is, yellow's got to get big enough to where he can kill someone uh, without being killed. Which means he's got to he's gonna need like an extra 200 troops or something. So we're still like... I don't know, what's he getting? Eight a turn? Blue is getting... It's just like inevitable what's gonna happen. Blue's getting 11 a turn. So he's outgaining Dog Sergeant, who's the lowest in troop gain. By th Five a turn. So to get 200 troops ahead of him, he's got to get another 100 ahead of him, which is another 20 more turns. Currently, we're at turn round 30. So. No time limit. Love that. At some point, blue goes for a kill. He doesn't have to because he's out gaining everybody and theoretically uh, about 3 a.m. He'll be in a good spot to get a kill without getting killed. Ugh. Can't even get a sixty nine stack. Blue's been card skipping for an hour now. Pretty wild. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for. You have to add some kind of entertainment to the game. Otherwise, we all just die, right? Okay, we got some loss, okay. That's what I'm looking for, little vindication.
Oh, Blue's given the attack, the attack, uh, message. Obviously, he would like me to attack. If anybody makes any kind of move, Blue is immediately cleaning up. Not to mention, I also ended my turn on 269. That's just well-played risk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I could stick my 117 stack right here, but I think it gets half rolled by green and pink, and then I'm first out. Got a lot of ponies. That's pretty cool. Not gonna get a better trade than that. We'll uh, do it one more time. Just make to do this every turn from here on out. What a wild game we all decide to play on Saturday nights. Yellow just keeps swapping which stack to attack with to be his entertainment. We are officially an hour and ten minutes into this puppy. I should go put a big stack right here next to yellow. Oh, green leaves his stack out. Okay, so something's happening. Does black block? No, black doesn't. Do I? I think I have to reward green with doing something. Pink could have broken green in retaliation, but doesn't. Card skips. Let's do something. This could end badly. I'm going to be the first to say this. This could end horribly, horribly wrong. But you got to reward the players that at least are making some kind of effort. All right, so now we got yellow stacked here, making them go through black potentially. Magenta over here. Yellow gets the eight trade. Don't think he's hitting the 103 stack, but he could. Could double tap that 260, that would be awesome. Card skips. <laughs> yeah. So this is cool. What's up, J Not? Green at least tried to do something. I give him the credit. He did something. 
moves back in. Give it a shot for one turn. Sure.
I'm thinking back when green moved out into this position. I could have jumped through here and just made a claim for it. And at least cause some chaos. But I felt like I need to reward green for making the move, not punish him. I am reading through the jokes over here. Um, I'll have to read through them later because I keep missing a few of them. But you guys have some some high quality stuff, sure. Definitely going on over there. Uh, the Canada one was the best I've seen so far. If I'm voting right now, Canada one's the best one I've seen. Got the plus 10. What to do with it? What bounty can I take? Oh, something's happening. No. no, 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 don't get your hopes up, ladies and gentlemen. Building a new stack here. What do you guys think about it? Pretty cool, huh? So blue is gaining troops on us by g gaining more each turn. He's also card skipping, um, which is preventing him from having to do an attack each turn. So he's not losing any troops on attacks. Thus, he's out gaining us by quite a bit. But I think we still have to keep going for the cards. Because if you lose one troop every three turns, which you lose less than... Oh, you lose one troop every three turns. But you average six on trades, you're like a plus three on that. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't love that. We're going 250 on 259 slow roll. Uh, he's just, he's going for the 70, I think. He just lost his patience, and I totally get it. I totally, totally get it.
Dog only takes back his bonus, or does he inflict a little punishment? No, it just takes back the bonus. I hate that I lost 40 something troops last turn. That kind of sucked. I think I'm the fish now. Outside of dog. I guess outside of green also. My stack that I was building uh, turned out to backfire. It's hard to want to do well in this game knowing that we've got a Caps prog round two after this. I mean, I want to do well in this game, but it's hard to want to have my heart in a four-hour game to get points and knowing that it we go to a Caps prog in round two. Ah, oh, dog going for the bounty. Once the three points. You really get five points because you get two higher placement points. You'd get the four and you'd get the three. So you get seven. Oh, I get card blocked. Bruh. Okay, I am coming to see you. I'm sorry too, dog. I, it didn't have to go down like that. I think someone's gonna kill me soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I missed I didn't quite have the right timing to go for the kill early. I made a mistake with the placement that would have changed the game, but Blue also is a really good player and set it up to where I didn't have that, that early option. Now Blue could have killed Magenta early in the game also. Um but realized that he was gonna have a great position for this kind of situation. Uh so he played it safe. I could have gotten a bounty, but I think I would have died very soon after. Which is what everyone's situation is now. Aren't you guys glad World Cup games don't go like this? I would not be streaming every match if they went like this. I mean, we play 90-minute matches, which are three games, but stuff's happening the whole time. Yeah, I could try to feed magenta to blue, but probably would be feeding myself also.
I'm not in a super strong position anymore to help with something like that. Surely Blue is going to make a move at some point. I mean, I get that he has such a huge advantage on us, but he could go kill Green and I think stay alive. I guess I have that blocked. I'm happy to open it up. I'm going to open it up. Just to give him the idea if he wants. How do I do it without upsetting someone? Yeah, I can do it if... Dog Sergeant doesn't take me out of that spot, but he will, won't he? Shoot, 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 shoot. I could take two of them. I could take two territories. After this. Move my 152 up. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see if I can entice Blue to go for a, a kill or something. Let's see if we can shake it up a little bit. Not gonna do that. Okay, we'll open up the path, see if anyone's interested. Definitely want to get in on this trash can, trash, uh, garbage truck debate. Ah, opening the path for green did create some excitement. He rewards me with some entertainment. This will be green's death to blue. He's going to break me also. Has he hit pink? He only breaks pink once, okay. Green is dying, and I, I get it. Blue's not taking the bait. He sticks with one bonus. Interesting. Okay, we've got something interesting happening. Don't hit my four. I'll get it out of there. Ooh. Interesting. Blocks my four, which he can, because I can... I gotta get my bonus back, so that's fine. Does blue let me have this other bonus? Would that be a wild decision to go for that? Yeah, that would be a wild decision. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Thought about it.
Yeah, I don't know why Blue just didn't kill him. And Blue didn't even take back the bonus, which is the weirdest part of that, I think. Would have been really cool if Pink went over one and let me have this bonus. Pink made it very clear he's not cool with swapping bonuses. Hope that turns out into his demise at some point. Oh, my four's getting hit? These guys don't know what a kill guard should look like. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, green wants the bonus. Does he get the bonus? Oh, and he break. He had a chance just to take the bonus and see if Blue was gonna be crazy and let him have it, but he breaks him, which makes Blue crazy if he doesn't hit him. He's like trying to get killed by Blue right now. I've known the answer to all of these riddles, by the way. I, I'm 100% on the riddles right now. Riddle, welcome. Are you bored in your FFA game also? Ah, the 69. That is how you play. Don't know why blue won't kill green. Pink just won't do it. Just won't spice it up. I promise I'm connected to pink stack here. It's the most annoying part of it. But I can't do anything cool either. Knew them all. Knew every single one of them. I read the new newborn. The babies are born the same day of the same year from the same mother. Twin. I think this might be a science joke. I do believe there's a chance there's two eggs. So they're not technically twins. I think that is a possible. Is this just a science joke? Are we just doing anatomy now? Is that how bad it's gotten? They'd be fraternal twins. Okay, so they're not fraternal twins either. Just clarification. Good. Good, good, good. Ah... Uh... Triplets. Very, very well done, Risky Boy. Hey! Congratulations to Dog Sergeant. He gets the first bounty, and he's number one in all of our hearts now. He gets the tin trade, so that won't help at all. He immediately is eaten by Magenta. Can Magenta kill him without getting killed? Let's see. <laughs> oh, I love that Hitchhiker gave the fist buff after getting killed. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, we get the kill on Dog here by Magenta. I think Blue immediately kills Magenta.
He gets the three points. Dog gets the three for the bounty and finishes in fifth. But he should finish him first in my book because he moved this game along. If I had a position to give him, I'd give it to him. Okay, so we, I mean, Magenta is still 393, not an easy kill. So what we do, he's already open to my stack. So we just say, well, if you're going to have all those bonuses, we're going to let blue go right through your stacks. I don't know that blue kills Magenta here. I was thinking he would have less troops, but he, he must have got really nice dice. Um, I know the answer. Yeah, that's correct, Tombstone. How about the old, uh, oh, I get broken by blue. Come on. Just doesn't want me to get any. Okay, you don't get that too, bud. He's going for the second kill? Well, that sucks. I did not see that coming. Yeah, he got too good a dice on that first kill. All right, it's over. Thank goodness. A towel. That's it. Uh, I guess I'll spectate the rest of this. It shouldn't take too much longer now. Um, okay. So he goes for the second kill, which gets him another place and moves him up. It's a smart play. I should have gone for more of a feeding of pink, I guess, to blue. Would have been smart. Yeah, it's okay. Honestly, when you set up your first two settings of the tournament as fixed, stalematey world, and a caps, I'm just not that juiced, so maybe these guys will do more with it. Yellow's struggling to kill Magenta, and Blue's going to get his first place that he wanted the whole time just by waiting around, which is the dumb part of these settings. Uh, so we finished in fourth, which is two, four, six points. So if I would have made the move early and got the bounty and the uh, the place, would have been better for me. But by one point, he's not even gonna get the kill. Oh my gosh! Okay, blue gets both. But blue's going to kill pink first for the cards, which sucks because pink should really get second place in this game. But that's why placement points are dumb. Right here is why placement points are dumb. He's got to kill pink first because of the cards. But pink doesn't deserve third. He deserves second. So Can he kill yellow here? He cannot, but he's going to win because yellow can't move through the board very fast. We saw that last turn. Okay, blue wins this maybe two turns. He locked his 10 stack.
Yellow's slow rolling the 80 stack. Interesting decision. Yeah, I don't think yellow yellow didn't really deserve the bounty. He had the chance. He had pink down to like 40 troops, uh, but didn't get the kill, so. How many how many turns do you guys think? One turn for blue or two? He's got to add two to the two. He's got to add like three over here. The rest he can come from the 69 stack and clean out and then hit the 39, 38 as hard as he can. Yeah. He thinks there's an oops, but it's not. He can go this way. Yep, he got it. All right, everybody, that was uh, round one of the tournament. Got six points, finished in fourth, so not too good, but at least we got it out of here in under two hours for that. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that some people love those kind of settings and love that kind of, let's see who gives up uh, first on wasting their entire Saturday night on this. Um, it's just not for me. So I'm happy to say it's for some people, just not for me. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be in next week's uh, game because everyone makes it to round two, so we'll play some caps next week. We have more World Cup action coming up this week, quarterfinals, uh, so make sure you tune in this week. I will be traveling this week, so I won't be streaming all the games or all the matches. Um, I'll try to coordinate some of them getting streamed, as many as we can, uh, by other streamers, and we will promote those other streamers. Hope you guys found this helpful. I'm Matt Mitch on Risk, streaming live on Twitch posting videos on YouTube, here to help you get better at the game of Risk, trying to grow the game of Risk worldwide. Until next time, everybody, enjoy your dad jokes, and may your dice be nice. See you guys.